Here we will have a look at finding the equation of a plane, given we know both a point and a line that lie on the plane. So we will look at the following example. We are looking at a plane that contains line R equals 2i minus 5j plus k plus parameter t times i minus 4j plus 4k. And we're also looking at a point P027 that we're told also lies on the plane. So let's look at this equation of the straight line first of all. And that equation of the line is of the form R equals C plus T times A, where C is the position vector of a point on the line. So this first part here is C, which in this case is therefore of form 2i minus 5j plus k. And so looking at that, it follows that therefore, since that is the position vector of a point, which we'll call capital C, we can there see that the point on the line has coordinates 2, negative 5, 1 in this case. Now in turn A in this equation of the line is the I minus 4J plus 4K. So that is a vector in the direction of the line and that vector also is in the direction, one of the directions of the plane, so that we can think of that as lying on the plane also. And in order to find the equation of a plane, we need to find a normal vector to the plane. And the vector product of two vectors, or the cross product, in other words, will always give a vector perpendicular to the two vectors we start with. So in this case, for instance, we know that A lies on the plane, if we can find another vector that also lies on the plane, then we'll be able to take the vector product of them to get the normal vector. So since we have the points P with coordinates 0, 2, 7 and point C with coordinates 2, negative 5, 1, we can get the second vector that lies on the plane by looking at the vector from C to P, which will be the position vector of P, OP, minus the position vector of C, OC. So that is going to be position vector of P is 2J plus 7K. Position vector of C, which we subtract from that, is 2I minus 5J plus K. So therefore, the vector from C to P is going to be equal to negative 2I plus 7J plus 6K in this case. So therefore, we now have these two vectors A and CP that we know both of those lie on the plane. So therefore, we can take the normal vector N as the vector product A cross CP. And remember that to put in that vector product, that is a determinant with I, J, K in the first row. Then the coefficients of a, which is 1, negative 4, 4 in the second row, and the coefficients of cp, which is negative 2, 7, 6 in the next row. So therefore, in working out the normal vector, it's going to be i times the determinant of the matrix negative 4, 4, 7, 6 minus j times the determinant of matrix 1, negative 2, 4, 6, plus k times the determinant 1, negative 4, negative 2, 7. Working these out, that first one is going to be i times Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, minus 4 times 7, so minus 28, minus j times 1 by 6 is 6, minus negative 8, so 6 plus 8, and finally plus k multiplied by 7 minus 8 in this case. And so therefore, that works out to be a normal vector of negative 52i, minus 14j minus k. 
So we now know that this is a normal vector to our plane and also recall that the point P with coordinates 0 to 7 lies on the plane. So we can use these two pieces of information now to get the equation of the plane. First of all, the normal vector was negative 52i minus 14j minus k. So therefore, the equation of the plane will include negative 52x minus 14y minus z. So we could write it in that way, equal to a constant d. And the point P has x equals 0, y equals 2, z equals 7. So we can simply substitute these values in to find d which gives negative 52 times 0, minus 14 times 2, minus 7, which works out to be negative 35. And that, in turn, is also equal to d, which was the right-hand side of the equation. So if d is equal to negative 35, we can finally substitute that into our equation here to find that the equation of the plane can be written in the form negative 52x minus 14y minus z is equal to negative 35. So that is how we can write the equation of the plane in this case. And if we wanted to check that, or verify it, we could also substitute in the other point we found, c with coordinates 2, negative 5, 1, and you'd see that would also give negative 35 on the right hand side, suggesting also that our equation is correct.